Hey friends, welcome to Jamie's Journey. I hope you're ready because we're going to be doing lots of cleaning today and I got new nightstands and decorations for my bedroom and I am just so excited to share that with you. Like probably one of the most excited I've been in a long time because I am in love with how everything turned out. I got new bedding a couple weeks ago and just I'm taking it slow little by little I'm getting there and just wait till you guys see how everything turned out. I think I'm really starting to know my style. I know what to look for and I'm starting to elevate my style a little bit. So thank you for joining me. We have a lot in today's video. So if you're curious about the vacuum, the hand vacuum I'm using to vacuum my bed frame, it is my cordless vacuum. It's the Tinco Power Hero 11 cordless vacuum, and then it comes apart and you can use it as a powerful hand vacuum, but you do have to purchase the attachment separately that you saw me use with it. It's the mini power brush, but I will have the vacuum linked in the description. But how are you guys doing? It's almost spring. We are so excited for spring and warmer weather. It'll be a while before we get warmer weather here in Ohio, but I hope you guys are hanging in there. And if you are new to Jamie's journey, my name is Jamie. I'm sure that's not a surprise to you, but I am married to my husband. We have three kids and I would consider myself a pretty simple girl. What do I do in my free time? Pretty much most of my free time, if I'm not with my kids or my husband, I am editing YouTube videos. That's where I spend most of my free time. But I love spending quality time with my friends, like my girlfriends. We go to dinners. We hang out. I love getting lost in a book or a good TV show. So if I have free time, just sitting there in the quiet, reading a book outside when it's nice out, or just getting lost in a TV show, like a TV show that you never want to end, that you want to binge watch. I know that probably sounds boring, but that's what I like to do. Oh, I also love to um, work out, eating healthy. All of that is really, really important to me. But either way, I'm so glad you're here. If you've been here for a while, truly thank you for making the time to come back every single week. And if you're new, welcome. You are absolutely welcome here, and I hope you'll stay. So to scrub my laundry sink, I'm using the Jaws Cream Cleanser. It's pretty good. Um, I get asked if I like, if I still like the uh, Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleanser, and I absolutely do. I like using. You'll probably see me use like 
for example, I love the Jaws, Jaws multi-surface cleaner, but I also love the Mrs. Meyers multi-surface cleaner. And I just kind of pick it based on my mood, what I'm feeling, but I will say the Jaws is cheaper. I do have a coupon code for 25% off, not sponsored, not an affiliate link. It's just a 25% off coupon code you can use. So especially when you use that coupon code, you can get the cream cleanser um, on a really good deal. And all of their cleaning products are really, really great. So I will have those linked below. So all three girls were at school today. The twins don't have school every single day, so I try to capitalize on the cleaning when I can on days they're in school. So I was just doing my normal everyday cleaning. cleaning. Look, I don't do all of this every single day, but just stuff that needed to be done. And then I was gonna go upstairs and start decorating our room. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, but I'm just gonna jump into good week and bad week. My high point, my low point to the week. So the good part to my week, we'll start out good. I'm feeling positive. We'll start out with the good week first or the high point. So the good part to my week is that I've started strength training again. So I said I am very passionate about working out. It's really important to me. I consistently every single week work out five days a week. It's my, um, it improves my mood. It just makes me so feel so much better. It's my therapy. I just love it. And I naturally love to run. I love cardio. It's my favorite because specifically with running outside, you know, I put on my headphones and I just go and I don't have to think, you know, I'm not looking at my phone. No one's texting me. No one's emailing me or I'm not paying attention to that. And I can just go go and not think of anything and not have my thoughts interrupted and sometimes I get some of my best thinking done while I'm running but I know how important to mix it up and how important strength training is last spring and summer I got really into strength training and I saw more changes in my body than I have ever seen in my life um, with just doing cardio and when I'm I'm talking like changes I'm talking I looked stronger I felt stronger I felt better and I just naturally fell out of that strength training because it's not what I enjoy like I gravitate towards the cardio it's just what I love to do I just love that like running so hard and I love being drenched in sweat and so I just got out of that with the move and everything like I think I gravitated towards things that were just easier for me and cardio is just easier for me so I'm back with strength strength training and I'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute.
also strength training. I've been forcing myself to do that three days a week and then I'll do my cardio the two other days a week. And honestly, it just, it does feel good. I know my body needs it, it craves it. And so I'm really sore currently, but it's my good week. I'm excited. I'm hoping to stay on this plan. And if you guys are curious, I am doing, um, Caroline Gervin. I think that's how you say her name. She's here on YouTube. Free videos. She, she has a different series. I will have her channel linked in the description, but that's what I've been doing and she's been kicking my butt and I love it. So that's my good week. Let's see. Oh, and speaking of I guess that's part of it too. Mike is also on a health kick. So um, we both see our doctor every year. We get, you know, blood panels run, all of that, make sure everything looks like it should. And there's some health goals he's trying to create. So he's almost opposite of me. He likes strength training. He has some big muscles if you've ever seen him, but it's cardio that he hates and he just doesn't do. So he's trying to do what I'm doing. He's trying to do more cardio and then focus more on his health. He's not as, he's really not, he's not a horrible eater, but he's not a healthy eater at all. Not like me. So he's really trying to get on this health kick and trying to eat healthier, get some new vitamins and minerals in him. So he's been looking at like different vitamins and um, different workout cardio routines. So we're kind of in this together, just like different journeys, I guess. So um, yeah, we're both kind of in this together, this new fitness journey. So I just want to say this as I'm in here cleaning up the toy room, I don't come in here very often to clean. About two days a week, I have all three girls. They come in here and they clean it up. Usually it's, you know, at the end of the night, I'm cleaning up the kitchen. Mike will bring the kids up before bath time and he'll just kind of supervise them, just sit there and make them clean up. So they, I have them do that two times a week but I've been coming in here about monthly just to clean it up myself because they don't make sure, you know, the right toys go in the right bins. And it's not the end of the world. What's more important is that they're learning to clean up their messes. I know that's more important, but sometimes I like to go in here and make sure all of the kitchen stuff is with the kitchen and all of the baby doll stuff is in the baby doll bin and all of that. So coming in here, not to mention, we've kind of had slow weekends lately, like not much going on on the weekends. And it's been kind of nice because the girls are old enough. They'll sit on that nugget couch, that little couch right there, and they'll watch a movie while Mike and I are sitting downstairs and watching a movie or TV or something on a Saturday night. And it's just like a whole new world that Mike and I can actually watch TV or, you know, get something done and the girls are not sleeping. Because previously, specifically with the twins, you know, they would be up and we couldn't really do anything. So there was some popcorn kernels and popcorn up here that I wanted to make for sure I vacuumed up. Okay, so really bad week, not too bad of a week, but I would say the bad part to my week or the low point is that it's just been so cold here. I know it's springtime, what, on the 20th, 
but it was 24 degrees this morning when I walked Avery to the bus stop. So it's still really, really cold here and we are just so ready for warmer weather. Okay, so now it's time for the bedroom. So my, I've only had a nightstand. Mike in the past never had a nightstand because in our old house he had a, our dresser right there and there just wasn't room. And so I knew I wanted a bigger nightstand because I have stuff in there. I have like my eye masks, I have my cuticle oil, I have my lavender spray, my lavender lotion, my um, aquaphor for my lips. Like I have all of this nighttime stuff to help with my nighttime routine and it just all didn't fit in this nightstand. So I had searched and searched and searched and I was looking for the right color wood for the nightstands, but then nightstands are expensive <laughs> and I'm like, they're nightstands and they go up in our bedroom, you know, like I don't want to splurge on something that's going to go in our bedroom. So I kept looking and I found these at Target and they were 30% off when I got them and they came in a pack of two, which ended up being perfect. I love that we have the drawers so I can put all my nighttime routine stuff in there. And then they have that little shelf so I can put like my, um, my computer and my iPad and stuff like that. So these ended up being perfect and I was nervous because you never know, you know, with furniture, it's like, you don't know if you really like it until it's put together, but at that point you have to keep it. So I was a little bit nervous, but I like them. And wait, do you see all of the decor that I got for them as well? A lot of you guys know that I don't like to decorate. <laughs> um, it's very draining for me. That's the best way to describe it. I just feel like it exhausts me and I spend way too much time. Like if I'm looking to decorate a space, I spend way more time than I should on it because it's just, it's hard. It doesn't come easy to me. But uh, this week I knew I wanted some new lamps for sure. And I wanted something to put on these nightstands. And so I went shopping and you guys, I don't like to shop. I do pretty much all of my shopping online because I don't like shopping and I just don't want to take the time to do it. So home goods is about 25 minutes away from us, not too far, but it's not, it's like kind of like, I guess you would say across town. So I went across town, went to home goods and I was shocked by how much stuff I liked, number one. And then I was like, okay, I'll get it. We'll see what works. And then I brought it all here and I was shocked at how well everything looked. I did get two sets of lamps because I was unsure. These are the Target lamps and they're taller. The other lamps that I had, I kept going back and forth um, which ones I liked better, but I think I'm gonna end up going with these Target ones because they are taller. Um, so I really like that about that about them. I'm not sure if I'll keep those tassels on them. Let me know if you guys like, I think that's what it is, like a tassel hanging from the lamp. Do you think that goes with the, the rest of the decor or should I keep it? Should I not? Um, but you'll see me try out the home goods lamps. Um, and I think the Target ones look better just because they're taller. So I had a charger um, right there. I got it maybe a year or two ago and it stopped working. <laughs> so I saw this one 
you know, those Amazon reels get you sometimes. And I like this one because it folds up so you can take it like if you're traveling like this. So it's like just folds up, which I like, and then it will lay flat. So, so with this one, also why I didn't like it, so I wasn't really too upset when it broke. See how you have this here? So when I would put my AirPods on there, it would have to clip on, and you would almost have to get it exactly right. Same thing with the phone. I plan on going to bed, but then I end up scrolling on my phone, and I'm like, okay, I'm done, and I go to put it on here, and it was just impossible to get it on there right on these little notches. So I like this one, you just lay it down. All three of them. So I went to put everything in here and so from the last house, you know, there was a lot of organizers that I used in the last house that really do, haven't worked here yet or I'm not really sure where I want the where I want to put the organizers. So they're all in the basement in the storage. I went down there and I'm like, oh, this will be perfect. And they ended up being perfect in this drawer. So I could, you know, like I said, I could do my lavender spray, my cuticle oil and all of that could be down there um, or organized in the drawers. And then I had a couple of different decorations that I wanted to put in here. I was trying to tie in some navy blue because the throw blanket at the bottom of the bed has that navy blue color. So I was trying to find something to tie in the navy blue color. And I was trying to figure out what would work. I didn't know if I would want some, you know, floral stems. I didn't know what I would want, but I ended up on this setup. Beautiful stars, I want to drive a faster car. Okay, if you've been a part of Jamie's journey for a while, you know that I do not feel comfortable with decorating. And you guys are always so sweet. <laughs> and you build me up, you give me confidence that I need. We can't all be good at everything, but I've said before, I just, I overthink everything. Wait, I mean, I overthink everything, literally everything. But when it comes to something that doesn't come natural to you, you overthink it even more. So I overthink everything. And then sometimes I get tunnel vision and I can't see the full picture or I just like, I have an idea of what I want in that space and I won't consider anything else. And I will just look and look and look and look and look for that perfect piece of decor or whatever it is, even though maybe I could try something else. Anyways, I am in love with my bedroom now like you guys i love this and i am so proud of myself for doing this all on my own i actually went shopping which i hate to go shopping um home goods is not super close to us i mean it's like 20 25 minutes so it's not far at all but we live next to a lot of stores just not home goods so like most of the stores that i go to on a weekly basis are within five or so minutes of my home so to drive 25 minutes i know that's ridiculous i just i don't like shopping i don't want to have to drive 25 minutes to go shopping when i may not even find anything that is right but i am so happy i love it and i am just i'm proud of myself because i had a vision I went shopping, I picked items that I thought would work, and when I got home and put it all together, it looks so good. I love it. So the I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.
Honestly, I liked both of the lamp, like at least the base of the lamp, but like I said, the Target ones were probably an inch or two higher. And then the lamp shades of the, the second set, the ones from Home Goods that I just put up, the lampshade was a pretty white color and the Target lamps, it was more of like a linen color, a creamer, like cream, like more of a linen, linen color, I guess, good way to, would, a good way to describe it. So I liked the more linen shade. I know you can switch a, a lamp, but, or a lampshade, but the lamps are so expensive at, in general that just decided to go with the Target one. And if there's anything I can link, I will have it in the description. But most of the stuff that I got from Home Goods, I got 90% of the stuff from Home Goods. Um, I couldn't link that, but I did link what I could. It never ends. Let's be a more than friends. Yeah. You know I'm here to stay every single day. I think it was in last week's video I said that I had ordered some type of laundry organizer that would help us with our laundry system because our bedrooms are up there if you guys and you guys know that the laundry room is all the way on the other side through the back hallway and so for me it was one of those situations where I have three-year-olds you know um, and I know a lot of people were like oh everyone has their own basket everyone brings the clothes down and then you fold in the laundry room <laughs> put the clean clothes in each person's basket and then they carry it up and put it away. It's not really easy for three-year-olds to do it. And honestly, even Avery, who's seven, she can totally do that, but I would be doing it for the twins. And then I also don't want her like, her being seven, I could see her banging up the walls with the, um, with the laundry basket. So this is the system that I came up with for at least the next couple of years. When the girls get older, then we can go to a basket system. And for me, it was just like hard for me to carry like three baskets up the stairs by myself. So this is a system I've been using and it's been working. Okay, so here in my closet, I have this laundry sorter and it's on wheels. So I keep it in here. This will stay up here in the closet. We're not using it to store dirty clothes. Everyone has a dirty clothes bin in their room. Here's Mike and I's. Then the girls each just have like a regular laundry basket. So when it comes time for laundry, grab that cart. Then I go to each room, grab the clothes, and then I wheel it all downstairs. And then I'll explain why this system works really well. So I can pretty much wheel it down the hallway to each room. You know, it's kind of like a longer upstairs hallway. I can wheel it around, then I just have to carry it down the stairs, which isn't too bad. And then I just wheel it to the laundry room. And then I'll fold all the laundry here, or if I'm watching TV out there, fold it all here, and then everybody gets their own little bag. And this comes right out of here. And we only need three because the twins share a room, share a dresser, share clothes. So one for the twins, one for Avery, and then one for Mike and I. And like I said, it's like really nice because Avery puts her own clothes away, so I can set this out. Sometimes if I'm folding laundry when she's already sleeping, I'll just leave her a little, little surprise. Well, if there was clothes in there, it would stand up. Just leave her a little surprise outside her door and then she either puts it away in the morning when she wakes up or after school. So, um, this is the way to get the laundry down and this is the only way to get the laundry up. Everything is sorted. I know where, what room to take it towards and that way I don't have to stack all of these laundry baskets. So, I think this will work.
Okay, so let's talk stainless steel cleaners. So I have found that the best combo is using the Sprayway stainless steel cleaner. It's a spray and then going in with the e-cloth. It is a glass and polishing e-cloth. I will have that linked below. Um, I found that's the best combo. But something I'm noticing is that stainless steel is so different. Like it's not it's not like one surface. Like for example, I have stainless steel appliances and then even my stovetop is stain stainless steel. And sometimes I have to use the e-cloth on certain appliances and other appliances I don't. So I think they all have like different coatings or something because for the fridge, I was able to just use a sprayway stainless steel cleaner. But then with here with the dishwasher, I did have to, I went in with this, the stainless steel cleaner and then I had to use the e-cloth the glass and polishing cloth afterwards to get it completely clean. So um, that I have found is the perfect combo. That e-cloth, the glass and polishing cloth is great as a finisher. Um, you can use it on its own, but I found it's a great finisher for the stainless steel, but also a great finisher for windows. So I'll use a glass cleaner, either um, Jaws or Sprayway, and then I finish it up with that e-cloth, glass and polishing cloth. Okay, I don't think I've shown this to you guys before, but I got a mirror in here and I just went for the black, matte black mirror. So it can match with the faucet. I think I did want something a little bit different, but I kept searching, 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 could not find the right shape, the right size for what I was looking for. I was looking for more of like a lighter wood color, but this works, I like it. It's a mirror. I'm like, Jamie, don't overthink it. We'll probably add some type of decor in here, but not, not super high up on my list right now. So I will say that I think I found a little bit of confidence after I was able to decorate our bedroom in a way that I really, really liked it. Like I don't just, you know, it's not just okay to me. Like I really like it. I do have more confidence, but I found with myself, I think that if I, I do better with smaller projects. So like a nightstand, there's only so much, I mean, technically you can put whatever you want on a nightstand, right? But essentially there's only so much that you would want on a nightstand. So it was easier for me to go to a store and look for specific things. Now, if you're talking about me decorating like my living room where the possibilities are really endless and then we have a two story living room, that is way too overwhelming for me. There's too many choices. That's why we chose like when we built this house, we, I've said this before, we chose like the middle option. You know, it wasn't a, a spec house where everything is 90% picked out. We didn't custom build. We went with the option where you had, you know, for everything, you only had 10 choices, countertops, 10 choices, 
uh, cabinets, 10 choices, and things like that, that's where I can really hone in on what I like and what I want. So I feel like for the bedroom, it was easy for me because they were it was a smaller project. So I think um, I might get some help from, I told you I have that friend who's a designer, maybe bounce some ideas off of her for the living room just because it's that two-story and I need some elevation. Um, I'm not really sure what I need, so... Um, it did help my confidence and I think that I now have confidence for smaller projects around the house. week I had. I feel really, really good, especially because now I have a nightstand, I have a lamp that works, and I'm pretty much in love with my bedroom. And I have a clean house. So I feel like I'm starting to get excited for spring. Maybe add, I think it'll be nice with the change of the season, springs and spring and summer, because now my focus, I think maybe here in like late March and early April, I wanna start little pops of my modern coastal farmhouse in the living room, um, and I wanna get a new kitchen table. So that is next on my list. I feel like now that the bedroom is done, I feel ready and motivated to tackle those other spaces. So that should be coming up here in the next month, month and a half. You, you know I work slow, um, but I will get there. It's also nice to spread it all out because then it helps with budgeting and make sure you're staying on top of all of that because that's important too. So um, I'm done, I'm gonna get dinner going and I will pick up later when we do the laundry and I'll kind of show you how that laundry system goes at the end of the night. It is later in the evening and it feels weird to say it's later in the evening because it's so bright out, but it's because of daylight savings time and because it's getting closer to summer. So it just feels weird that it's seven o'clock right now, but I'm gonna go fold the laundry. Dinner is done, we had a really yummy dinner. Mike is getting the girls upstairs, ready to take a bath, and get ready for bed. So I'm gonna pop in there, get the laundry done, and I'll show you how that whole process works. I'm sure with having a successful decorating experience with our bedroom, there will be more, probably the front porch, the back porch this summer. Um, I'm sure there'll be other little projects that I'll end up doing, um, the bathroom, so stay tuned for all that fun if you like it. So, clothes are put away. I just gotta put mine away and I'll put and then I put this right back in the closet. <sighs> thank you guys so much for joining me for this clean with me. Um, but thank you guys so much for being here, hanging out with me. You guys are great. You're amazing. And I'm just so lucky and grateful to have you here and a part of this wonderful community. So don't underestimate the impact that you have on 
other people's lives because you have a big you make an because you make a big impact on mine. Thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.